Hey guys, I'm Karim Binani from Mobi Scrub and I'm going to take you through how you can set up these five beautiful Android home screen setups. You're going to need Nova Launcher and Super Widget Pro to be able to set these home screen setups. If you don't know how to use them, go ahead at six minutes in this video and you'll know how. The first one's called Rusty Skull and it's my favorite setup in this entire video. I love it because it looks really clean, very minimal and the blue in the background is so beautiful. Um, it looks really nice. The icon pack is the life of this entire setup. It's called Retron UI and it's got these really nice retro icons but with a modern feel and that's why it looks so good to me. And it's again, it's got quite a few cover and it's got this own uh, adaptation. The wallpaper is again very high res, comes with the icon pack or you can download it from the link in the description below. The widget that I'm using for the day uh, is from RL Zooper. Now this one's free in the Play Store. It does not have a ton of widgets, uh, but the one that we need is <laughs> in there. Um, yeah, so it's called, it's called Ricky 14. So once you go and place it, it's gonna be pink in color or orange. You're gonna have to go into layout, go into that text, scroll to the color and change it to FF00FFE3. And guys, before we move on to the second setup, it would be great if you could help me reach 100,000 subscribers by hitting that subscribe button and also hit that like button on the video. This one's called the black and white setup and you can see why. It's a really high contrasting theme. The white, the background makes everything look really nice and clean. And although everything is full, it still looks very minimal. The icon pack that I'm using is called Zort Black Icon Pack. It's free in the Play Store. It's got a ton of icons. I think it's got more than 5,000 icons covered. So it's gonna pretty much cover all apps that you would have on your device. Beautiful wallpaper, the link is in the description below, very high res, go download that. For the date and time, I'm using the Parrot Zooper. So when you place the widget on the home screen, go open Parrot and click on Zooper Widget 100 in that pack. And again, if you don't know how to use Zooper Widgets, just go to the end of this video and I've explained how to place a Zooper Widget very easily. The Dark Forest with this eagle date in the center and time at the bottom. So I'm using the flat white icon pack. It's beautiful it's just the opposite of the Zwart black icon pack um, and it comes with these really nice wallpapers that you can apply as well the eagle date in the center comes from parrot zooper and the time at the bottom comes from ghosty uh, so when you apply parrot you're gonna have to search for zw119 and you're gonna have to get rid of the uh, date and the weather at the bottom and then it, it's right there. You might have to increase the size a little, so go back and increase the scaling so it fits the widget size, and there you have it. The time at the bottom is tricky. Uh, once you place your widget, you open Ghosty and go to widget 97. Select that one. Now you're gonna have to get rid of everything except for the time 717. Place it at the center, increase the size, and you have it right there. Now you're gonna have to change the color and also set transparency uh, in that particular one and then it changes to exactly how you want it. You can go a little lighter as well And that's the wallpaper guys the link is in the description below It is so high definition and so well detailed you can use it even without this entire home screen setup So go for it guys This one's called racing zone and it's a little different from other home screen setups that I'm showing in this video Because it's got this really nice balance with the icons on the left and the uh, wallpaper being heavier on the right side the app drawer looks phenomenal with this red tint that I've given. The icon pack that I'm using is the flat white icon pack. I've already talked about it in the previous dark forest uh, theme. So let's not get into that anymore. Uh, the wallpaper, very high resolution, love it. It's got this really nice dark feel to it, but it's really high definition, very high quality. Let me talk a little about the persistent search bar at the top, which is maroon in color and how I got that. So I went into Nova settings, enabled search bar, the persistent search bar. I selected this one um, as my search bar style, ensured that I'm selecting the uh, the G pill over there, and then I changed the color to maroon. Now the backup file in the link in the description below is gonna get you this, but I just want to tell you how to do it. And this super racy widget that you see on the home screen is the Frostbit Zooper. It's uh, basically widget number 55, but it's blue in color and it's small. So increase the size shift it a bit towards the left uh, so you know you can select all the elements and then move it a bit towards the left so you make sure that it's fit and now you're going to need to change the color of those uh, you know it's blue right now so i've changed it to maroon so it matches that car better the code's right there and it just reflects once you're done 
This one's called City View and well, very obviously you can see why I called it that. Uh, why I really like it is because it looks so sophisticated and it's probably the most classy home screen setup. The icon pack is so gorgeous. It's called Big Spick Icon Pack. Um, it's beautiful. It's got these really nice funky colored icons. The only problem is that it's only got 410 icons in its pack. So it doesn't cover a lot of applications, but it makes for a beautiful, gorgeous home screen. So it's got quite a few icons, but just it's just for the most popular apps, really. Uh, this is the wallpaper. It's uh, downloaded from Inswall. And again, very gorgeous, good looking wallpaper. You can use it on your lock screen. It'll look great. The widget that I'm using is Frostbit. It's a little complicated because you're going to have to make some changes to it. Um, but basically just increase the size and change the color um, of the top circle and the bottom circle. The tutorial at the end of it covers how to do that. So that's pretty much it. So guys, those are my five Android home screen setups for the month of June. Hope you guys really enjoyed this. Now, if you don't know how to set all of these things up, uh, just continue watching the video and I'm going to show you how to use Nova and Zuper to be able to do that. All right, guys, you're going to need the Nova launcher uh, to be able to make all of these customizations to your desktop and app drawer. It's for free in the Play Store once you launch it after installation. Long tap on the home screen, click on settings and you get all of these options to customize. You can set your desktop grid and that's how I've been able to make my icons look really small. So, you know, I set the set a really low desktop grid size and then reduce the icon size from here even further. I can disable or enable the labels and that gives it a very clean look. The search bar that you see on the top, I can enable, disable and I have these styles that I can apply, whether it's in black in color, white in color or any other color. This is the important part. Restore all the backups. I have all the backup files in the Google Drive links in the description below. Just download them and they have all those setups that I have used today. Now all those funky dates and times and days that you see on my home screens are from Super Widget Pro. Okay, and once you download that, you also download these various packs that are available. Some are free, some are paid. Once you've downloaded all of that, I'm going to show you how you can make something like that. So long tap on your home screen, go into widgets, scroll down all the way to widget pro, super widget pro, tap and hold, drag and outside to the home screen. And then you need to resize it. Just give it some size for now, just enough that you have some area. Now tap to start and you get a list of all those packs that you had downloaded, right? Now select one of them, Frostbit in this case, scroll to your you know, whatever widget you want. And now you can customize this to a huge extent. Um, right now it's a little small, so I'm going to make it big so it fits that widget size, right? And I, I want to change that color as well. I wanted the pink uh, circles. Now this is the layout and all of these are various elements of this widget. I can solo them and I can see which one's which. Now I want to customize the top one, right? So I'm going to tap on it and now I can change its size, position, with everything but i want to change the color right now so i'm going to tap on color make it pink and i have set some transparency as well and then that's it right uh and i i need to do that for the bottom circle as well so i solo it i check it out which one it is tap on it change the color and i am done now if i go back i can see that it reflects on my home screen or not and there it's reflecting now i want to get rid of june and wednesday so I can just select those and I can then hit delete at the top. And that way I'm only left with the circles and the date in between, which is weird. I can also move them. So if I select all of them, I can just move its position on the home screen uh, and I can enable fast move if I, if I want to move that more, whether it's horizontally or vertically. Once you're done, just go back to your home screen and it's done. 